electrolysis. The chemical substance undergoes decomposition by applying of electric current is called as electrolysis. This electrolysis is classified into two types based on conditions and based on conditions these are classified into two types one is strong electrolyte and another one is weak electrolyte before that electrolysis this electrolysis process is carried by applying of two electrodes one is cathode and one is anode for example we discuss electrolysis of sodium chloride NaCl very simple example this sodium chloride the chemical substance undergoes decomposition gives Na plus Cl minus if you consider here 2 moles of sodium chloride it gives 2 Na plus 2 Cl minus now this is your cation, this is anion, means cation carries positive charge, anion carries negative charge. Now at cathode, at cathode, so two types of electrode, one is cathode electrode and one is anode electrode. Cathode carries negative charge, anode carries positive charge. At cathode electrode, always reduction reaction is takes place at anode electrode it carries oxidation reaction at cathode cathode carries negative means it abstracting positive charge that is Na plus okay. it abstracting two electrons gives two Na plus it abstracting two electrons it gives two Na plus and next one is at anode at anode oxidation reaction is takes place there is 2 Cl minus last two electrons produce Cl2 plus two electrons so this is the electrolysis process of sodium chloride means in electrolysis process the at respect to electrodes at cation anions are deposited and next to next one is we are discuss a new topic is electrochemical cell okay, new topic is electrochemical cell or galvanic cell so cell means the arrangement of electrodes the arrangement of single electrodes electrode by the conversion of chemical energy into electrical energy is called as cell this electrochemical cell so in electrochemical cells there are two processes are carried out one is conversion of electrical energy into chemical energy that is the first property and second one is conversion of chemical energy into electrical energy okay electrochemical cell shows two types of properties one is conversion of electrical energy into chemical energy another one is conversion of chemical energy into electrical energy okay in electrochemical cell examples are one is galvanic cell or dry cell or lead storage battery So these are the examples of electrochemical cell and next one is this in electrochemical cell we use two types of electrodes 
in different medium okay now we will discuss differences between electrochemical cell and electrolytic cell so in that first one electrochemical cell and next one is electrolytic cell so in that electrochemical cell means conversion of chemical energy into electrical energy in electrocycle electrolytic cell it is used for conversion so reverse process conversion of electrical energy into chemical energy there is your first difference and next difference is in electrochemical cell generally anode anode is denoted with negative charge whereas cathode denoted with positive charge but in electrolytic cell anode denoted with positive charge cathode denoted with negative charge this is another difference between electrochemical cell and electrolytic cell and another one in electrochemical cell two different electrodes are used two different electrodes are used in electrolytic cell two different electrodes are same electrodes are used same electrodes are used in electrolytic cell in electrochemical cell generally salt bridge two electrodes are separated with salt bridge bridge but there is no salt bridge there is no use of salt bridge in electrolytic cell in electrochemical cell two different solutions are used but in electrolytic cell only one solution is used Okay. in electrochemical cell chemical energy is converted to electrical energy that is the process of electrochemical cell but in electrolytic cell conversion of electrical energy into chemical energy and in electrochemical cell this is your non spontaneous process but electrolytic cell is a spontaneous process in electrochemical cell conductance properties increases by increasing of number of ions but in electrolytic cell conductance properties decreases with decreasing of gibbs energy so these are the differences between electrochemical cell and electrolytic cell